The Energy Cosia Carbon X Prize was launched in 2015, designed to help develop technologies to take carbon dioxide emissions and turn them into products. The virus now reaching at least 105 countries. It is a pandemic at this point. In spring of 2020, by the middle of March, all of our teams were essentially shut down. Each team is having kind of a different experience, I would say. It really depends on where they are. New York City is the epicenter of coronavirus in the world. At the moment I am in Bangalore, uh, the situation is here uh, completely locked down. These teams are really motivated and um, wanted to push hard and do what they can, given the public health guidance that we have. People that like to solve problems like to solve all kinds of problems. We can all do more than we think if we're presented with a challenge. Our team is now working remotely. Our engineers who have some equipment literally in the living rooms. Air Company is a really cool example of, I think, making the best of a bad situation. The background for Airco is we're a CO2 to ethanol company. That ethanol can be used for a variety of different products, including sanitizer. We've kind of turned our couch and relaxation area into a labeling <laughs> station. Team based in China and in India and Scotland, they have to come to the United States. That's going to be a challenge, getting visas, getting flights. We have also pushed hard to try to apply for U.S. visas. So if nobody will get a visa, <laughs> then we'll have big trouble. It's really unprecedented. I think keeping motivated and keeping engaged, it is a challenge, it's tough. I think it's a new normal for everyone. You know, everyone has their own set of unique challenges. Hold on one sec, sorry, my kid is literally yelling at me. They're recording it, so you're gonna have to keep them quiet. Having kids at home is a challenge in and of itself. Personally, I have a huge anxiety because one of our founders is older, so he is in a particularly vulnerable group. I am in Calgary, Alberta, and we're at um, our secondary site. So we got shut down at Shepherd about three weeks ago. So this is where we were doing a lot of our work. There's a big question mark about what happens next. Is this going to put us back six weeks, six months? I'm not concerned about the effects of the COVID pandemic on the Carbon X Prize because we were ready to compete before and we will be ready to compete after. Climate change was the number one story before this pandemic, but it's going to be back. That problem is not going away. Climate change is not stopping, so we can't stop either.